everyone welcome back to the channel today i will be showing you how to do window reveals on your project so that you can have cuts in different angles such as that um even this ones like that at 20 degrees 15 degrees 75 so on and so forth so we're going to go to Revit and open up a new architectural template. We're going to start by putting a wall like that. And then we're gonna put a basic, a basic window inside like that. When you go to 3D, let's hide this. You'll realize that the window reveals are straight in Revit. So you don't have these angles that you have on these buildings. So we're going to go to select the window, edit family. And the first thing that we want to do here on this drop down menu is to go to exterior elevation and we are going to draw um, reference planes around the window for the reveal to follow. The first one will make it 300 here. You can make this 400. You can make the other one 100. You can make the other one the 350. Sorry, 350 like that now what we want to do is to draw a in order for you to achieve the shape of the window reveal you need to use a void form void blend so we're gonna pick a plane and pick the plane of the wall there and I just want to draw it aside for now. So we'll draw the base here, then we'll draw the top here, such as that. If you finish, you'll notice it's highlighted in yellow. If you go to 3D, let's put this what is to hand. Let's put this to shaded view. You'll notice that it's there. It's just sitting there at that edge what we want to do from here is to go to the exterior view and there are two things one thing that you need to notice if you try and drag this over the window it will give you errors such as that it will still remain yellow so what you're gonna do is that we are going to select this opening that you see here the opening cut and we will delete it after we delete it we only have that wall blocking the window and then now we're going to come here and say edit the base you can delete that draw a new base on these lines and then you lock the four lines edit the top select those lines there delete and we're going to draw our top lines on our reference plane we have drawn again we we lock them if you finish you go to 3d you'll realize that you can't see what you have drawn so now what you want to do is to go to floor plan and drag this on this line lock it drag this on this line and lock it if you go to 3d view you will see it's sitting there right not perfect we're going to go to exterior view um Okay, first of all, let's go to 3D 
and select cut geometry select the wall select your void you start seeing a window there now we want to also make another void to cut throughout the wall that side right so let's get this out of the way for example we're going to go to floor plan and draw a void extrusion for this one and here we are going to use these two reference lines so we're going to start here and end that corner we lock the lines we hit finish from there if we go to 3d you realize that it's incorrect it is at the bottom so we need to go to exterior view and drag this to the reference plane lock it drag this one to the reference plane and lock it as well if we go back to 3d view we need to cut the plane and now you can see through the window like that right but we are not finished because if we put this in our project and override it will come like that which is incorrect right so to make it look perfect we need to go to the exterior view and make dimension lines we're gonna make one from here to here and lock it and call it a we're gonna create a parameter and call it um left reveal after finishing that we click instant we're going to make another one here we lock it and we call it overall top reveal gonna lock it and make it an instant gonna make another one here lock it and call it top reveal should lock it make it instant gonna make another one there right reveal overall let's say overall right reveal you can lock it and make it an instant for example you can make another one there and there um, let's just put this in our project and do that if we go to elevation um, when you select window we start seeing that ability for us to be able to move this up and down which is what we want if you go to 3d that's what you have um, this is the interior the internal this is the external so you look at what you want to achieve and you go to your elevation and you do it as such the way you like your window to be 
and there you have it thank you guys for tuning in i hope this was very helpful stay tuned for our next tutorials cheers <laughs>